Hi everyone, welcome back to Coding and Creating. Today we're starting our, our digital art unit with a great program called Procreate. This is what the icon looks like in the App Store. I'm going to start by just opening up the app. When you first get in, you won't have all these projects, but to start your first one, you can click this little plus sign in the corner. Whenever you want to add something, you can hit the plus. So I'll say screen size. And we're, our first project, we're going to be creating um, some art of an emoji. So first step is to get a reference drawing or a reference emoji that we can use to base our artwork on. So right here, there's this little icon of a wrench. I'm going to click on there and I'm going to press the word add text. Notice I'm using my finger and not my pencil. Make sure you always select things with your finger and I'll say add text then you'll see the keyboard. And right down here in the lower left-hand corner is the smiley face, which is the emoji keyboard. And I can click on my favorite emoji keyboard. Emoji is my little nerd one there. All right, and what I want to do is resize that so it's nice and big. So right here, I'll just tap this little corner icon to tuck away my, my keyboard temporarily. And before I can resize this, I have to choose a different tool. So right here, there's this tool that looks like an arrow. So when I select that, my the little indicator around the emoji change, and I can grab the corner icon, and I can sort of stretch it out and sort of fill the screen. Okay, and I can resize it a bit, sort of center it. So I've got a nice big emoji. Okay, now to get out of this mode, I just tap that little arrow again. Now, I need uh, to fade this out a little bit so that when I, I'm going to use this as a reference and when I color on it, I want it to sort of be faded. So right here is this little layers control and there's this letter N and I'm going to tap on the letter N, which stands for normal, but that's how you open up these controls. And I can sort of fade that out a bit and you're going to see why that's going to be useful a little bit later, but I'm going to color on top of it and by fading it out, it's just gonna make it easier to see my lines. So that's how you change that. Now I'm gonna go back to the wrench again, and I'm gonna almost do the same thing again. I'm gonna click add text in my emoji, and I'm just gonna press another copy. And I'll just use my finger and drag that over to this side. All right, now we're almost ready to begin drawing, but we need a brand new layer. So I'm gonna click on my layers control and hit the plus sign. So we've got a couple layers. We've got this one with the big layer that we faded out and we've got this little version and then we've got our blank layer that we're gonna use to draw on top of everything. So here, let me use two fingers and zoom in. Now, what I can do is I've, I wanna get the colors of this, um, this emoji. I can take my finger, not my pencil, but my finger and hold it down and I can move it over and see how I can select whatever colors are in there. So let me grab sort of that brown color around the edge of this. And uh, up here, there's a couple of different drawing tools. There's a paintbrush with all these different choices. See all these cool different ones that you can choose from. Look at all these, there's amazing ones. Um, I don't know which one I'm gonna choose. Here, maybe I'll choose, uh, I kind of like that one. No, let's, let's try that one. Does that look good? We can see what that looks like. This, uh, the difference between these uh, different tools here is that this paintbrush icon adds color, this finger icon blends the color, and then this eraser icon will remove the color. So that's what these three do. They all use the same tools to either add, blend, or remove the color. So I've got my color over here, and notice that when I swipe it around here, I think I might change the brush a little bit. Let's try maybe this one. Let's see if I like that one a little bit. It's pretty good. I'm still not satisfied. So maybe I could go here, pick one of these. Oh yeah, I'm liking that one. And what I can do is over here, I can control how big the brush is. And I'm just going around generally. I kind of like that. That's looking good. Then what I'll do is take my finger, maybe pick up some of this yellow color and I can sort of fill in part of this. And I'm just sort of applying some, some color to my drawing, okay? And I'm not worried at all about the, the face or anything. I'm just sort of making the background. Okay, now I've got some color down and I wanna blend it. So this little hand here, I'm gonna to choose to blend it. Right now it's on that tool to blend. That looked, let's try it. So I do that, oh yeah, I like the way that that's blending. You can see how I've got this sort of going. I kind of like that, that's looking good. 
if you if you want to you can use this little eraser tool and try to uh, sort of you can clean up things a little bit if you want to remove some color. If you make a mistake, you can press with two fingers and you can undo. So two fingers is undo. So I've got sort of this general shape. I don't like that, <laughs> but if I would go back to this little thing here, there, that's what I wanted to do. So I've got just my general background that I like. Okay, I'm gonna to go to the layers again. I'm gonna add a new layer, and this is where I'm gonna draw maybe the eyes and the mouth and things like that but I can't see the um, eyeglasses anymore. So what I'm gonna do is tap on the layer. Now let me see if I'm on the right layer. See how I just pressed that little check mark to see what was turning off and on? This is the layer I want to do. So what I'm gonna do is tap here, hold, and then drag it above that background layer. So now I can see the things again, okay? So uh, let's, let me do the eyeball. So I'll just go clicking here. And um, if that ever happens, just sort of go out of there. I'm gonna go back to my layers. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the right layer, okay? It's, it's, it's really easy to be on the wrong layer, so make sure you're on the correct layer, okay? So, see, I've got that sort of brown color going, and I'm gonna sort of color in. Seems to be working for me. I'll maybe make a more precise brush. Maybe try doing the mouth a little bit. And actually, I'm not even going to worry about the teeth because I can do those on another layer. Okay, so I've got this going. Okay, and then you can add another layer. And I could get the uh, teeth going, maybe grab that color. Okay, maybe make my brush a little bit bigger just so it's more efficient. And the nice thing about doing layers because if you mess up, let's say you went up like that a little bit, you could just hit the eraser. Notice it doesn't get rid of the rest of your drawing because each of these elements, like the teeth and the face and the background, they're all on separate layers. So what you're going to do is after you get done drawing your character, you're going to turn off the reference layers by checking these little dots, okay? So this is what my little guy looks like. This is what my little nerd guy looked like when he was... He got LASIK surgery and didn't have glasses anymore. This, yeah, you can hear a few giggles. We're being recorded in front of a live audience. So here's my little guy. Um, and once you're done, the key thing is going to be to sign your work, okay? So I'm gonna tap here on the colors. This is another way you can pick colors. And I'll just sort of choose one of those. You can sort of zoom in and you can sign your name. Here's my beautiful artistic signature. And there's my little smiley face emoji guy. Um, have fun creating your first emoji. And um, when it's time for you to share your work, make sure you got a signature. The way you share is you click the wrench and you go share and choose JPEG. JPEG is a photo format and you can click on that. It will export. If you're here in class, you can choose AirDrop. And if you're at home, you can hit save image and it will put it into your um, photo album or you could go to Google Drive and save it in your Google Drive. So have fun and I'll see you next time.